I'm Blair Malstravich and I'm here at Hair FX and I am talking about an event, Midwinter Night's Dream Spring Awakening. And to tell me more is Michael. Michael, tell us what it's all about. Hey, hi, how are you, Blair? Good. Uh, good. Um, Blair, what it's about, it's about a fashion show, but we thought we would make our fashion show a little bit different because lots of times when people go to shows, they want to know what's happening behind the scenes. So we start our show off with a little bit of a, uh, a segment about what we do to prepare for something like this. And it's not just a fashion show. Um, we're, liking, we're, we're liking this to like a, a variety show. There'll be singers, there'll be dancers, there'll be a continuity through it. It'll start off in the 1920s and it'll end off in the 1960s and we're using those eras as the influences for the fashions that we're going to use in the show and the hair of course. Now with this event you're working in collaboration with the Never Alone Foundation that focuses on improving the lives of people affected by cancer. Why do you think that's so important? Well you know I have to be truthful. The Never Alone Foundation approached me um, about being a part of this and putting on this show and um, um, when I started getting involved, I realized that I could make a direct impact on my community uh, because the money that we generate with this show um, is directly put back into my community and I know from a personal experience that it is. So that's why this show is so near and dear to me. Now, like you said, it's more of a variety show. When we're talking about hair, I've seen some of these shows and this hair can turn into works of art. Where do you guys come up with all these ideas and how long do they take? Uh, well, you know what, this show takes us about three months. We, we start preparing, you know, uh, three months ahead of time. We start uh, paying attention to what we feel is happening in fashion. Now, last year, everything was Great Gatsby, you know, so if we were to really go in that direction, we feel that that's something um, that's been done. Now, we have to... We, we looked at like maybe, you know, Beatlemania. It's 50 years since the Beatles came to America. So we thought maybe that would be a strong influence. So that's how we have the 60s in there. So we kind of tried to use what was happening right now and then what we felt was going to be happening in the future as well. Now we have a model for us. What exactly is the process she's going through? Oh, yeah, James is uh, preparing Kelsey. Kelsey's my personal spray and pray model. And when I say spray and pray, we have a segment in the show where I bring my designers out and we, we have about three minutes where we just create uh, a form on stage. We call it spray and pray. You just fill them full of hairspray and you pray that you end up with something. Now. Um, we're going to be using very much of a rockabilly kind of feel for that. So James is doing a really quick pinup victory roll look. So, and that's my personal model, Kelsey. She's been my model three years now. Um, she will be my model. This is our fourth year doing the show. She's my personal model that I use for every show. Great. Thanks so much for this, Michael. You're very welcome. Now, if you're looking for more details, you can check out the neveralonefoundation.ca, and the event happens April 5th.